Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Collectibles. And today is the first day of Power of the Primes Miss. So kind of like the 12 days of Christmas, we're gonna do the 10 days of the Power of the Primes Miss. I went out today and was lucky enough to find the whole entire Power of the Primes Wave 1 Legends to Voyager class line. And I'm gonna do a review of each of the uh, robots I picked up, starting with um, the Legends class figures ending up in 10 days with the Voyager class Starscream or Grimlock. Haven't decided which one I'm going to finish with. I'm thinking Starscream, but maybe Grimlock. Starting off, we're going to go with Scrapnel, aka Shrapnel from the Legends class line, the Insecticon. And this is the review for him. So welcome to the review. Here we go. This is his box art. As you can see in the background, you've got all the symbols of the Power of the Primes. And he's got his Decepticon insignia on his chest and it's it's obviously a nice box art i like the titans return slash power of the primes box art on the back he's got 10 steps of transformation and it's got all the good details on there so not too much to cover it's not as uh, detailed as the uh, voyager class lines and stuff like that it's got his instructions here and then he's got his card so the cards are really nice they're one of the nicest parts about this line um he's a, he's an alchemist so Scrapnel can travel through electrical pathways. Now he doesn't come with any weapons. I guess the his things that are on the top of his head, I can't remember for the life of me what they're called. Those are supposed to be his weapons, his energy weapons, or what you would call them. So this is the figure itself. And I've heard some people complain that the figure itself doesn't have um, the greatest plastic used in the molds. And I don't see anything wrong with it. I've reviewed some robots in disguise lines and I didn't like them as much as I do like the uh, Power of the Primes Titans return lines. It's just a little bit thicker, more dense, and the ball joints are more rounded so that the arms and legs don't pop out as quickly. So, then there's less of these small tabs. Um, I'll try and find them on here where they clip in that break off. There's not as many. So, starting with the transformation mode, the he comes out of the package just like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is pull his chest piece up. So, you can see you pull that up and you've got his arms like this and then pop these like that that's the very first step the next step you're going to want to do is just push his arms back get them out of the way the next step is take these two sets of legs pop them up like that and you're halfway there halfway to the completed figure so the next step you're going to want to do turn see the hole right there I'm going to turn this so that it goes and connects into that. There's a little peg and a little hole. So there's your peg and there's your hole. Turn it, find the hole, pop it in. Now you've got half, even more than halfway done. The next step you're going to want to do is pop his feet down. Once his feet are down, pivot. This is going to be his outer shell of his lower part of his torso and then connect it. So you're basically done now. All you do, pop this part up, and there's a little joint here that you just unconnect, sorry, and then pop it in like that. Not really a connector point per se, it just kind of rests, and then you've got it like this. And that is him in his insect mode. Now comment in the comments, what insect is that? because I can't remember for what it is offhand, and uh, some sort of beetle, I know that. Um, but what beetle is it? And what do you think of the Insecticons? How does he compare with the G1 variant? And uh, what do you think of the figure all in all? And for the first day of the Power of the Primes Mist to review this figure, I think it's a great figure. Um, I think it stands up well with its G1 version. I wish it was called Shrapnel, but what are you gonna do? Scrapnel kind of works too. Um, for next, Tomorrow, day two, we're gonna review Beachcomber. Then we're gonna go through Slash, Wind Charger, and then start with Jazz and some of the Dinobots as well following through that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy first day of Power of the Primes, Miss. And it's uh, Andrew's Collectibles here. If you like our content, like, comment, subscribe, check out our other videos, and stay tuned because we've got a lot of great new content coming out in the future uh, with regards to Transformers and thrifting and all that good stuff. So. Have a great day, and like I said before, happy first day of Power of the Primes Fest.